This is Big Island Video News for Friday, October 20th, 2023. Kilauea Volcano is not erupting, as the area to the south-southwest of the summit continues to show signs of episodic unrest. Scientists say the intrusive event that began in early October continues intermittently at a lower rate. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory says the unrest is expected to wax and wane with changes to the input of magma in the area, and eruptive activity is possible in the coming weeks or months. On Wednesday, scientists wrote a detailed assessment of the current situation in their daily summit observations. It is unclear how long the current unrest in Kilauea summit region will continue. At this time, it is not possible to say with certainty if this activity will lead to an eruption. The activity may remain below the ground surface. However, an eruption remains possible, most likely in Kilauea's summit region inside of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and away from infrastructure. Similar patterns of earthquake activity and ground deformation occurred to the south of the caldera prior to the September and June 2023 eruptions in Kilauea Summit Caldera. Although unrest in Kilauea Summit region continues, there is currently no sign of an imminent eruption. And increasing inflation and earthquake activity, or heightened unrest, are expected to precede an eruption. During periods of heightened unrest prior to recent eruptions at Kilauea Summit, signs of imminent eruption did not appear until one to two hours before lava reached the surface. The summit of Kilauea remains at a high level of inflation, and eruptive activity is possible in the coming weeks or months. HVO scientists will continue to monitor Kilauea volcano closely and will issue additional messages as warranted by changing activity. With the latest assessment from scientists, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park has closed the Mauna Iki Trail and the Ka'u Desert Footprints Trail from the Footprints Exhibit to the Mauna Iki Trail intersection. This map was previously published by the National Park Service when a larger area was closed due to the heightened unrest that began in early October. This area here is what remains closed at this time. Other areas shown on the map have since been reopened. The location and status of all the alert sirens across the state of Hawaii is now available to the public through a new interactive map created by the Hawaii Emergency Management Agency. The map can be found on the HIIMA website at ready.hawaii.gov by selecting Siren Status Map under the Get Ready tab. Fully operational sirens are shown with a green icon while sirens that require simple maintenance are shown in yellow. Red icons are sirens in need of maintenance that must be performed with contracted assistance. The black icon denotes sirens which are beyond repair. HIIMA operates the all-hazard statewide outdoor warning siren system as one of the tools it uses to alert the public in the event of an emergency. The sound of the siren lets the public know to seek additional information. Of the 418 sirens across the state of Hawaii, 326, or 78%, are fully operational. 26 sirens are inoperable and beyond repair. Of the 76 sirens on Hawaii Island, 6 require maintenance, 8 need contracted support, and 7 are beyond repair. Four of those inoperable sirens are in the area of Puna that was inundated by lava during the 2018 eruption of Kilauea on the Lower East Rifts Zone. Hawaii County is moving forward with plans to preserve land in Pepeakeo. The County Council approved a resolution on Wednesday authorizing negotiations to acquire the coastal property. Situated in the Ili of Pepeakeo, Apua'a of Makanaloa, District of Hilo, utilizing the Public Access, Open Space, and Natural Resources Preservation Fund, County seeks to acquire approximately 38.25 acres of land to protect cultural natural resources and freshwater springs and streams, preserve and plant native coastal plants, revive agricultural lands as agroforests, facilitate and manage public access for fishing and gathering sites, and enable community-based management and stewardship. The parcel is listed as priority number eight in the 2021 annual report of the Public Access, Open Space, and Natural Resources Preservation Commission. Introduce Ms. Kimball. I just wanted to share this because I, I had the opportunity to, to go out again last week and it was just such a beautiful, gorgeous day. And um, this is actually a view from a different property and that entire shoreline that you see there is part of this, um, this property. So it is gonna be a, a wonderful asset for the county and I just thank everybody for their continued support of this resolution.